Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Krauss House of Art. I'm your host, Mr. Krauss, and I'm bringing art to your house. For this week's lesson, we'll be making an aluminum foil relief panel in the style of Lorenzo Ghiberti. First, let's talk about what a relief sculpture is. As an example, let's look at this quarter. Hey Hugh, can you help me out? Reach out and touch this quarter. Which part do you think is the relief sculpture? That's right, it's the face. The part that sticks out from the background is the relief sculpture. The inspiration for this lesson is the Florentine artist Lorenzo Ghiberti. In the year 1401, the city of Florence, Italy held a competition to choose an artist to decorate the doors of the beautiful city church. The winner was a young sculptor named Lorenzo Ghiberti. Ghiberti had been trained as a goldsmith and the shimmer of his gold-plated bronze delighted the judges. Ghiberti worked all his life on the great baptistry doors at Florence. Michelangelo later said of Ghiberti's doors, they are worthy to stand at the gates of paradise. Now that we've learned about Lorenzo Ghiberti, we're going to go over the materials that we need. For this project, you'll need a cardboard panel, an extra piece of cardboard to cut shapes out of, or a paper plate, a ball of twine, string, or yarn, heavy duty aluminum foil, glue, black tempera, or washable paint, a paintbrush, and a Brillo pad or rough sponge. Now that we've gone over the materials, let's start the project. Okay, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is cut some shapes out of the extra cardboard. After you cut the shape, put a dot of glue on each corner and then glue it onto the board. Remember, when you're cutting the cardboard, keep the scissors facing forward and turn the cardboard, not the scissors. After you glue down some shapes, cut a piece of twine or string and then put a couple of dots of glue on it and glue it down where you like. You can have the strings go on top of each other if you like, but you might need to put down a little more glue. Once you're happy with your cardboard shapes and string, you're going to get your aluminum foil and tear a piece a little bit bigger than your cardboard panel. You can use the shiny or not shiny side. I'm going to use the not shiny side. I'm going to start pushing on the edges of the shapes, starting in the center and working my way out. Work your way all the way around the board till you cover the whole outside of the panel. Once you have your entire panel covered, you're going to flip over the whole thing. Now we're going to fold down all four sides. Once you've pulled all the aluminum foil tight, you're going to flip over the panel and push down on all your shapes again. Before we paint, put down something to protect your work area, like newspaper or scrap paper. You may need to tape your back to keep the tin foil close to the cardboard. Now we're ready to paint. Paint all of your tin foil black. Sometimes you need to give it two coats of paint. It's okay if you want to leave some streaks. It makes it look more like metal.
Now that the paint's dry, let's polish the raised parts of the panel. Once your paint is completely dry, we're going to take our Brillo pad and rub all the raised areas. It might take a little while, but keep rubbing those areas until you can see the tin foil through the paint. This is our finished aluminum foil relief panel inspired by Lorenzo Gaberti. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Krauss House of Art. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can now follow us on our brand new Patreon page, which will give you access to extra lessons, activities, behind the scenes interviews with you, and much, much more. So click the link in the description below to help support the Krauss House of Art and to keep the art coming to your house.